What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals Compass of Pop Culture. Today's video, we're looking at a raw copy of Ultimate Fallout 4 being sold as a 9.6 book with the press. We're going to dive deep into this discussion, folks. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Check out the links in the description below. But let's get right into this. I love looking at these posts. Um, I give my personal opinion on the matter, and we will also explore some people's thoughts in the comments section. I do this for sellers, for uh, consumers, the collectors, the buyers to be able to educate themselves and put that you know, personal opinion to see where public perception really sits when it comes to certain things like this that we see pop up in this uh, industry, in this hobby all the time. So what do we have here? We have Ultimate Fallout 4, first appearance of Miles Morales, a raw copy. This individual posts it in a Facebook group trying to sell it, stating a $350 price plus shipping and 3% of PayPal goods and services. Price is firm. 9.6 book with the press. Now, I'm going to point something out right now. Let's zoom in and look at this tag. What does it say right here? Near mint minus. What is a near mint minus? That is a 9.2. So according to this tag, now, of course, all grading is subjective. Even, you know, CGC and, and the grading company's grading is subjective to a certain extent, depending on how you feel as a consumer. We all know that a raw comic book, I never trust the grade. How many times do we go on eBay and they're like very fine and it, you know, is like a, a good plus and the covers like split at, at the spine. Like who knows? So I always, of course, look at pictures. This book is in the bag. I zoom in. It looks pretty clean, but we know that books in the bag uh, tend to hide uh, defects. So if I was actually in the market to purchase this book, I would reach out to this individual and say, hey, can you take the book out of the bag? Can you uh, take more pictures for me to see before I make any decision about purchasing it? But this is the question, folks. This book, outside of looking at the price, this individual is trying to sell a raw book at a specified grade with the press. Now, I am going to go straight into my personal opinion. There is no way that anybody can say a book is going to be any grade with the press. There's no way. I have been pressing comic books for four years now. There's no way. Can I estimate? Can I make an educated hypothesis? Sure. I could see, well, this book, I can judge the book as saying, okay, this book seems to be a, a near mint minus with the press. I see that there's pressable defects. There's no color breaking ticks. This book could very well get up to a 9.6, right? But you can't state anything indefinite. And, and now remember this, and this is why I, as a seller, 99.9% .9 of the time, never grade a raw book. I never assign a raw book a grade higher than a near mint. Now, what is a near mint based on grading companies and the standards? A 9.4. A near mint is a 9.4 comma book. A 9.6 is a near mint plus. Out of hundreds and thousands of books that I have sold at this point, probably, I have maybe marked three or four books as a near mint plus to where I felt that that book could absolutely get higher than a 9.4. Three or four books. Why? Because it is subjective. I, as a seller, cannot state what any grading company is going to give a book that I believe is near mint, a 9.4. Because quite honestly, a 9.4 could easily go into a grading company and come back a 9.2. You just never know. So my stance already, you guys are seeing that I am in disagreement with how this individual is trying to sell this book. But let's go into some of the comments here. How can you say it's a 9.6 with the press? What if it doesn't come back a 9.6? The seller says, because I know what a 9.6 book book looks like. And if by chance it came back a 9.4, whomever uh, purchased the book can feel free to reach out. But at 350 for the book, there really isn't much risk. Now, here's another problem that we're going to dive into. We're going to look at what this book is selling for right now and why that is even a bit of a problem. Uh, this individual says, it's a good price. I'm not knocking that. 
Uh, the seller says, I get CGC as a pain in the ass, but if this book uh, didn't come back after a press, I'd question everything about life. Well, you know, I've uh, anybody that knows CGC or even any grading company, it's subjective. And we've seen so many inconsistencies with CGC over the past four, five years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. One has to ask why you don't send it to be pressed and graded, the seller says, mainly because I got it in a package deal and it's not a book I want for my personal PC. Okay, anybody that is selling comic books knows that this is a cop-out. This has nothing to do with why you're trying to sell it stating at a graded price what it would be with the press and just saying, well, I don't want it for my PC. Sell it as is then. Sell it as is, in my humble opinion. It's easier to say what the grade could be than what the grade actually is. Uh, the seller says, we don't know what the grade actually is because it hasn't been graded. Now I give them this. So yes, it's much easier to look at a book, understand people will send out to be graded. Notice there aren't any ticks and any issues a simple press could remove and give the estimate. But Yet, notice the book is still priced around 9.4 territory and understand the ask is in line with that. Simple, really. Okay, here's another problem. The book, as stated, is not a 9.4. It is a 9.2. So again, we haven't looked at prices yet, but hypothetically speaking, this individual is now saying, well, the book is still priced at 9.4. The book says a 9.2. Doesn't add up. Now I'm looking at um, this seller as somebody that's basically using words to manipulate the sale. Dare I, dare I use the term manipulate? Because he's trying to persuade facts and factors to a consumer to uh, buy into what he is stating rather than what the book actually already states. Okay, this is what I said. I said, sorry, but the book is raw and it hasn't even had a press. So stating a fallacious idea of what a press might do to the book is not only laughable, but extremely unethical. Sell the book as it is or go press and grade it yourself. And let me just add, you know, I might say, look, this book hasn't been pressed. You might be able to, I mean, with the press, you might be able to bump it up, but it, it hasn't had a press. There's a there's a verbiage to, to use that can give insight to the book for the, pot, uh, for the potential consumer, but stating something as fact, 9.6 with the press is wrong because you're stating it as fact and it is not. Now, somebody left the comment and then deleted it. And uh, I replied <laughs> right as they were deleting it, but I screenshotted it. Or I screenshot it and I was able to get uh, the uh, individual's comment on screen. And he basically stated, but he priced it at the value of its current condition. So is that still unethical? Now, here's where we're going to, I'm going to show the value, but let me read you my response. Actually, the grade says 9.2 and 9.4 range raw are currently selling for under $300. But regardless, yes, because he's using tactics instead of simply stating what he has. That's like me selling a beat up used car saying it will look brand new if you get some body work done to it. And I think that's the best way that I can state this, folks. If I have a 2002 Honda Accord and it and the tail light is busted out, there's oxidation to the paint on the hood of the car. Uh, there's some bodywork damage on the front end of the car from a an, an accident. Um, and you know Kelly Blue Book value for the car in like pristine condition is $5,000, but I'm looking at all the body work that, that's done and in, in, are seeing other vehicles in that range selling for 2,000. And I'm like, I'm asking $3,000, but it's a $5,000 car 
with some body work done. <laughs> you know, it's like, no, it is what it is. Yes, you can get the tail light fixed. You can get the oxidation fixed. You can go get another paint job. I could spend the money to get this book pressed and clean and graded, but it is not a 9.6 as is. And that's the bottom line. Now, we're going to look at prices. Now, here's the interesting thing. As of yesterday from filming this, a $334 9.4 book sold. Well, you know, again, these are raw books. So they're looking at when cover price pulls in data, um, it, they're taking it from my combo book shop or eBay for what they're listing it as. And it was listed as, as a 9.4 book selling it for $334. Before yesterday's sale, because I responded to this comment um, uh, a few days ago, Books in the 9.0 to 9, even the 9.4 range were selling for under $300. That is a fact. You guys can go look it up. Um, look up on eBay sold. So this one sale, though, boosted the rolling average right above 300. But again, my statement still stands. Near mint raws going up to the 9.4 range are not selling anywhere near $350 right now. And here's an interesting thing too. Outside of one uh, of a recent 4.0 or excuse me, $400 sale of a 9.4, this individual is selling this raw 9.2 near mint minus book. Roughly because what did he say? 350 plus $11 shipping plus the goods and services fees. A 3%, that, I mean, that's going to be another, you, you know, uh, 10, $12 on top of that. He is selling a raw 9.2 graded book at a higher price than what CGC 9.4 graded copies are selling for right now. So again, that is inaccurate. Oh, and by the way, don't look at this very fine. This was an outlier that brought up the average. Um, uh, I haven't done my research to look at what this outlier is, but it's an outlier. It could have been a, a lot of two books. It could have been a um, a new stand that didn't get hit, get pulled in as a new stand. There's many times where I found these issues, and I, I love cover price, but you know, there's still some you know growth that they need to do in terms of sifting through um, sales and those outliers. And uh, there's many times where I found some, I've reached out to cover price and, and they they corrected it. So, but yeah, this is not accurate. But look at this, even near mint plus Ross, books that are selling at, oh, these are like 9.8, like are selling for about fair market value at about what this guy is asking for, for a 9.2. So, um, I mean, even, even look, even 9.6s are, have a rolling average, you know, there again, a couple days ago, there was a little, um, a little bit of a higher sell for $440, but still that average is right around what this guy is asking for, um, when considering fees and shipping costs for a 9.2 raw. So not only is this individual selling this book at a, price at a selling price that is above fair market value for even higher raw grades and even some higher graded slab grades, but he is doing so uh, with tactics that are, you know, the verbiage is purposefully misleading the potential consumer. And that is a, a simple fact. It's a simple fact. Like I said, look at the car analogy. This car is, is in this condition, but if you went and got some body work, it could be in X condition. That doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant for what this product is, as is. The person could sit in here and say, look, I don't think it's ever out of press. You could give it a press and it might bump this grade up. But right now, it's a 9.2. This is a fair market value that I think here it is. This verbiage, in my humble opinion, is wrong. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Be well, and until next time.